Hi, this is Yvonne McNary, and I'm here this evening with Juanita Heron. How are you doing, Juanita? I'm doing fine. What about you, Yvonne? I'm doing great. Good. We're at the Marion County Extension Office, and you have a program this evening that we're taking part in. It's the Marion, uh, the, uh, what is it? Tell me what the program's called. Okay. It's the Marion County Public Library Family Cooking Night. Okay. Fantastic. Now, Family Cooking Night at the library. So you're yes. you put a program together with the library? Is yes, right? we have partnered with the library. Elaine and Patty, you know them that works at the library. They've been there for a long time. Uh -huh. They uh, talked to me last year about doing a program with them. And we partnered and we have been doing this since August. Wow. Yes, one night a month. Now, how do you determine who's going to come over? Is everybody come over at one time, or how do you do it? Okay, Patty and Elaine was very good. They did a sign-up. They sent out flyers, mm -hmm. signing people up. But the, the key was that they had to have families, okay? We wanted this for children and, and adults. Let me put that, because some of them comes with a grandparent. Mm -hmm. And they are uh, here cooking together. We're trying to get it back where families are cooking and eating together. Okay. Now, I bet you, you've run into all kinds of cooks here now, have you? Oh, we've got some fantastic young cooks. Wow, it looks like it. Well, I see tonight there's a lot going on here. A lot of people are going to be cooking. Tell us a little bit about the menu. Uh, tonight, <clears throat> they are making pineapple pork. Mm -hmm. Pineapple pork is one of our uh, uh, recipes that we use from the University of Kentucky. You know, I'm an expanded food, nutrition, education person. Assistant. That's a whole mouthful right there. Yes, it is. And we cannot use any recipes that are not uh, tried and true by the University of Kentucky. Okay. All right, so you've got this one, pineapple pork. What made you decide on pineapple pork? We did a protein lesson tonight. We talked about protein, what it does for us, uh, what we can eat for uh, to get our protein. So pineapple pork was in our... Uh, uh, our collage of recipes and that's what we went with tonight. Right. Well I see too uh, you have boys and girls here cooking tonight. We have boys and girls both here. Uh, you'll see some of the boys that are cooking. Uh, they have even been to different programs that we have put together here and they are they're very good cooks. Okay. Now I know that cooking is one of your most popular programs here. Yes it is and we have partnered with uh, different organizations that we work here. Um, we work very closely together. Our FCS agent is Danielle Ford and uh, Rebecca Hill, the 4-H uh, agent also. We do a lot of different cooking programs together with them also. Okay. Now tell us a little bit about the group that you have tonight. I know you have several tables set up. Yes. Well, what we try to do, uh, you notice we do have, we've got five stations set up. And each family is working together. They're making their... Uh, very simple it's almost like a one skillet meal okay. and they are making this and what they're going to do when they get finished with it they get to eat it oh. and then they get to give me the feedback whether they like it or not uh -huh. okay. so now i know you've got a lot of kids here this evening so you have kids who some like this some like that so it's kind of hard to get straight down the middle so what did you do <clears throat> To, well, to decide on this menu to make sure that the kids all like it. Well, we tried to pull something in. Of course, uh, it, with this recipe, you can see we're using pork, of course. But we're also using some peppers. It called for uh, medium green bell pepper. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know if uh, you may see a little later, we used a red pepper, a yellow pepper, and a green. And they diced, sliced them up very thin. And they're going to put that over what they're doing to do. They're going to cook their meat. They're going to take that out. They're going to add their pineapple. And they're adding their uh, peppers. They're going to kind of saute that easily. Then they're going to put their pineapple, uh, put their pork back in there. Kindly have it all together. And they're going to eat it over a bed of rice. Okay, so that, it looks pretty. It's going to look pretty. Yes, it looks very colorful, you know. We've got the yellows, the orange, the reds, all of the greens. We've got all those good colors. Okay. Now, how often do you do this? We do this once a month. Okay. Uh, technically, the uh, library had a grant, and that's how come they asked us to, to partner with them. In mm -hmm. uh, May, next month, uh, no, two months, I'm getting ahead of myself here, Yvonne. In May is our last one that we have scheduled. But, oh, oh there's always a but. Always a but. 
you see, and we have families here, and we've got a couple of families that are not here tonight. And uh, but we're going to open it back up that we're going to partner with them, that we're going to try to get new different people that will come and come and try what we're doing. We think it's very successful that we're getting, and maybe get kids to eat something a little different. You know, they're also learning a lot of skills as well. There are a lot of skills, uh, not only the, the cooking skills, but also safety in the kitchen too. Well, listen, thank you so much for inviting us this evening, and I'm going to be looking around and uh, Great smells. Are you coming smelling out. the I'm smell? Smelling, yes, indeed. It smells wonderful. <laughs> yes, it does. And you know, I have to say, it's they're a very good partner to work with. You see, there some of them are washing dishes, some of them are doing their measuring. So we just all work together here. Sounds great. Sounds just like family, doesn't it's, it? It is family. And so, if anybody is interested in this, uh, you might you would you could contact the Marion County Public Library, or you could call the Extension Office, and we will get you set up. Great. Well, listen, thank you so much. Thank you.